Welcome to part two of my series of videos on the Cavalier Breed Standard. Bootsy here is going to help me to explain this part of the Breed Standard. Um, today we're going to focus on the neck and the um, shoulders of the dog. And those two are two categories that are specifically listed in the Breed Standard and described there. Get her to stand. Now the neck is described in the breed standard as being fairly long and you'll very often see a judge running his or her hand along the neck of the dog and there's a few reasons for that. The neck actually runs from the skull down to the shoulders. That's actually the top of the shoulder blade which is referred to as the withers. So from the skull to the withers is the portion that we refer to as the neck. So when you see a judge running their hand along there, one of the things they're checking for is to make certain there's enough length and there should be a smooth transition and it specifically mentions in the breed standard that it should flow smoothly into the shoulders. Now in order to understand more about the shoulders, you have to understand a little bit about the anatomy of the dog. As I said, the withers, which you can feel when you run your hand along here, and you have to press a little, sometimes you have to push their head down a bit in order to feel it, but you'll feel a little bony prominence right here. And the, the shoulder blade in a dog runs from the withers down to this other bony prominence over here. We usually call that the point of shoulder. And between those two index fingers that you can see, uh, that's where the shoulder blade runs, right along here. So you can actually feel it. And one of the other things that we're feeling in the neck is for muscle, because the muscle allows the dog to move properly. Uh, Movement, remember, is a very important part of showing a dog, and movement is really an embodiment of the soundness of the structure of the dog. So a dog with good sound structure is going to move properly, and that's one of the ways we judge their structure. And this muscle in the neck has an awful lot to do with the ability to move. If I run my hand slowly along her neck, I will feel a little arch right here. That arch, which you really can't see most of the time, but you can feel it, is a muscle. That muscle runs all the way down to the bottom of the shoulder blade, which is the beginning of the upper arm. And the upper arm runs down to the elbow. In order to get proper movement of the front legs when the dog is gating, they have to be able to lift that whole part of the leg up so that they can get some reach outward. So the muscle that starts at the top of the neck is attached right down here at the point of shoulder and helps to lift that leg. The more muscle they have, the easier it is for them to lift the leg and the better reach they're going to have, uh, which will help propel them very nicely. Also, if you look at the breed standard, it states that the shoulders should slope back with moderate angulation. Now what the heck does that mean? Um, moderate angulation means that between the bottom and the top of the shoulder blade there should be an angle um, which actually Bootsy is, is not really a show dog so I don't think she's well angulated in the front there at all. Um, I prefer to see an angle of the shoulder blade that's more like where my hand is now, as opposed to Bootsy's, which is more like this. This is a little bit more upright. Um, if a dog has severely upright shoulders, it's going to hamper their ability to move, because let's suppose the shoulder blade were up here. Well now, when that muscle in the neck is trying to pull the leg out, it's kind of pulling against itself, and they can't get that forward motion very well. So a well-muscled neck combined with nicely laid back shoulders make for a nice movement in the front. So those portions of the breed standard are very, very important 
in the ability of the dog to move properly. And as I said, that is a way to judge how well structured they are. So that's all a little bit about the breed standard today. Bootsy, I know you did not enjoy this, but you are a beautiful little girl too, anyway.